Hey everyone, um, welcome back for uh, my next video. Um, today I'm going to talk about the uh, Necronomicon uh, set that Fright Rags had come out with for the 25th anniversary of Evil Dead 2. Uh, I was able to get my hands on one, luckily enough, though uh, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I thought people would be chasing for this, but it took a, about a day and a half for them to sell out. There was about a hundred of them, and um, what is included in the set is this shirt that you can see right here. Uh, two uh, foil stickers, one magnet in the box itself. So I'm just going to start off with the shirt. As you can see, the shirt is designed by Graham Humphreys. He designed posters for the first film for the video release and the second film for the theatrical release in the UK. Uh, his art is uh, phenomenal, very well done, extremely detailed as you can see here. Uh, the shirt is a small because uh, I fit in a small. Anything that's uh, quite larger than a small I look like a, I look silly in. So um, on the opposite side you have this logo here that says The Evil Dead 2. I don't know why the is there, but it's there. And uh, here's the tag. Small. It's the 25th anniversary groovy edition. That's what it's called. But um, there was a choice. You could have gotten it in a cardboard box that was designed by Monty Ward, or you can have got the uh, wooden box that was designed by Monty Ward. I think they're both Monty Ward. Uh, I know there's boxes, but um, yes, beautiful shirt. Now, I will go ahead and say this. There was some cancellations. There was supposed to be originally a shirt by Justin Osborne, which I will go ahead and say, in my opinion, was actually the better of the two shirts. The design was very nice, original, very well done, and I was very excited to uh, get it as part of the box set, but unfortunately, uh, it didn't come to fruition because uh, it wasn't approved by Bruce Campbell. Uh, with things that are licensed, it has to be approved. Um, no reason why. We don't know why it wasn't approved, but Fright Rags felt bad and sent out a message. Uh, that was one cancellation. Then at the last second, there was supposed to be a poster version of this design. That got canceled. And then there was supposed to be a sculpted Necronomicon magnet which got cancelled because it just didn't seem like it would be out in time and Fright Rags cares about their quality so they would rather cancel it than that you receive a faulty product I understand that much but at the same time such a disappointment because it, it's very tantalizing when they advertise these things and it's what you think you're gonna get and you're excited and then all of a sudden they're just like oh no we have to take it off so I mean they're a great company and um, I'm pretty sure they've learned from their mistakes, it seems, that what Ben had expressed. And, I mean, I have nothing against them, and this just these things happen, right? So, uh, it's, not, it's not like if it's something that happens all the time, you know, with, with co really bad companies that always things like that fall through. But then there are companies out there that are like that, so... Uh, but with this box set, it really pains me to know that I could have gotten this really nice magnet and I could have got... The poster, I don't really care about poster replications of the shirt. I really actually don't really care about that that much. It was mostly the magnet and the other shirt that really, really, really made me sad. But um, anyway, out of, that's out of the way. Uh, this is the shirt, which is beautiful and I look great in it, in my opinion. Um, I want to show you the little extras first. I will tell you that everything, everything that comes in this box set is all officially licensed. So these, are, I got two stickers, which is, I, I'm, I don't know if I was supposed, you're supposed to get two stickers. I, I thought you were only supposed to get one. I thought it was one sticker. So, um, the people at Fright Rags know me. They do know me for being the Evil Dead fan that I am. And they're sweet people and they're super nice. So, um, I don't know if I would, I don't know if I would have got an extra sticker because of that. Or, I don't know. I got an extra sticker. I think. I think we're only supposed to get one sticker. But anyway, it's it, it's supposed to reflect like in the 80s when you got foil stickers that are luminescent like this, that, that look like this, were like the thing. So that's, what the, that's the point of the stickers. And then I got this home sweet home magnet that's supposed to be like uh, the cross stitch that you see in the cabin. So that's cute. 
and nice, and it looks nice on my uh, fridge. <laughs> but let's get to the main attraction here. This is the box, wooden box, by Monty Ward, and it is amazing. It is worth all the extra money you poured into buying this. Um, like I say many times, you just can't really see the amazing detail on items like these with the on video. You really have to be there in person. And it is a wooden box, as you can see, just unopened right there. Here's the back, of course, here's the ear. Extremely well done. And only a hundred of these. It's funny because a lot of times I always have like this misconception of how many they make of something. And I, for, so I had like 200 in my head for the longest time. I thought there was 200. And then I got reminded it was only 100. I was like, oh yeah, it's only 100. <laughs> but it is super nice. Like here, I'll give you a nice close up of the mouth. So it gives you an idea of the detail. Now let's open the box. So put it on its side here. Open it. And that's what it looks like inside. It's a wooden box. But if you put it on its side here, because everything came in this box. I got it in the box and I opened it and all the stuff was in it. If you put it on the side, here's like a little certificate or whatever. Let's just get it in there. So the Evil Dead 2 25th Anniversary Edition. There's the signature by Monte Ward. And there's my number, 2 on 100. Um, because I got number 2 on 100, I highly believe that the order that these were purchased has to do with what number you got. And that makes me sad because when I went to go buy this, uh, I was trying to buy it. I was trying to be buy it as fast as possible, you know, to be safe because I thought this was going to sell out extremely quick. Um, which it didn't. It took it out like a day and a half. Uh, still quick, but, you know... Not as quick as I thought it would be. And um, I messed up, like, I would press the wrong button by accident because I was just too much in a hurry, you know? Uh, but because of that, I think I, because of my little tiny screw ups I had that delayed the time a little bit, I, that's, I think that's why I got two instead of one. So I only have myself to blame for that, but at the same time, I'm like really excited. I got two on a hundred. So, uh, yeah, these are. These are really rare and extremely nice and, and probably, you know, it's really valuable because it's by Monty Ward, an extremely well-known artist. And uh, I'm displaying it on my second DVD shelf in the, in the very, to the right hand, right near all my NECA figures. And uh, I have a little extra something that I'll be displaying there and I hope to show you guys next week. But um, pretty much this is all I wanted to say. At this point, this box is amazing. It's super nice. And I really love it to death. And it's the only, like, really big Necronomicon thing I own. Um, other than, you know, the three Necronomicon uh, editions or Book of the Dead editions of the Evil Dead trilogy that I have. But I don't, I plan it to not be my last. I do want to get more, you know. And collection is not going to finish. It's going to always get bigger and bigger. And so, you know, that's uh, the 25th anniversary uh, Groovy Edition Evil Dead 2 box set. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoy what else is to come. Thanks for watching. Bye!